know that they don't like the name Dixie, they equate it to racism, the Confederacy, the Civil War, and they're asking that the school district change its name. And they'll be here in a few minutes from now. They'll present the petitions to the school book board members for them to decide. Here's a school board member here, Marnie Glickman. This has been an ongoing battle with them for quite some time, but they're choosing today, this being the 90th birthday of Dr. King, he was born on this day, mm -hmm. your reaction to their push to change the name Dixie School District? It's important to change the name of our district. We have an obligation to teach history to our students, and Dixie is a reminder of slavery, lynching, segregation, and confederacy. So you have no problems if it becomes something that you have to address, which is, according to the laws, within 40 days, right? Yes, within 40 days we will have to vote. My understanding is that parents are coming with 10 different names. I'm really excited to learn what are the 10 names, which ones might be better than Dixie. I know one of the names is Oak Valley, Miller Creek, and so we have a lot to talk about. Let's play devil's advocate. It's history. We've seen the push where people are taking down monuments. Let's play devil's advocate. Some people are saying, are you kidding? Are we trying to rewrite history? We're not trying to rewrite history. We're, we want to be inclusive, and we want a name that is. Uh, we want a name that doesn't hurt people. And we've had parents tell us that this name hurts them, and we can do better. Okay, very much. So you know where she stands on the issue. We will try to talk to the parents. They call themselves parents. You might call them protesters. They should be arriving in a couple of minutes from now, and we'll get their reaction on this issue that's been ongoing. And again, they chose this day of all days because it is Dr. King's birthday.